and welcome back. Hello, welcome if you're new. My name is Jessica and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what I put in my children's December boxes this year. Now, when it comes to traditions, um, we're not very good at keeping those, but this is one that the kids ask for immediately when October hits. So like, mom, are we gonna do those boxes this year again for Christmas? And usually I do them on Christmas Eve because it's got Christmas jammies and stuff like that in it. But I've been seeing a lot of moms here on YouTube start doing theirs um, on December. That way their kids can enjoy them all month long instead of just, you know, Christmas Eve. So I thought we would try that. And we're actually going to do it tonight, which is November 30th. So it's like December 1st Eve because tomorrow is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, so I figured doing it a day early wouldn't be breaking any rules. So anyway, I'm excited to share what I've got for this year. It's a little different, way more minimal, but you know, it's still awesome. So here we go. And I don't usually buy things um, and then keep using them year after year. They always like get destroyed in storage or whatever. But I got these at Dollar General, um, I think last year or the year before. And they're really nice boxes. I believe they were on sale for five dollars they're originally seven to ten and i got it on sale for five so i got three of these and there's just a little tag on the front and i put the first letter of their name not really fancy but if you want to be super fancy with it uh, i do know there are etsy shops that make just gorgeous boxes you can have them personalized for your kids and everything and it'd be like an heirloom but i really like these so if you need a budget friendly Christmas Eve box, you could even use just a plain um, clothing box or Amazon box and decorate it, whatever you want. Possibilities are endless. Anyway, so these are my boxes. And the first thing that always goes in the box, Christmas jammies. So these are the jammies I picked out this year. We always get uh, matching jammies for your families from Kohl's usually. Um, and these are really cute. There's a little penguin and a snowman on them and then little penguins on the pants. I'll show you a close up in a minute. But they always get a pair of jammies in their box. And then I always have some kind of hot cocoa. This year I shopped everything at Dollar Tree except the pajamas. That's how tight our budget is this year. But Dollar Tree is really good. If you haven't gone, I highly encourage you go check out your Dollar Tree. They've got some great stuff. Anyway, so I got three of these um, marshmallow packs. Oh, if you don't know, I have three children, three little boys. They are 12, 10, and 7. So I got everything in threes, and it's pretty awesome because a lot of stuff is sold in threes. I'm getting carried away. Anyway, so they each get a pack of hot chocolate, and this is the Swiss Miss marshmallow with an adorable fox on the front. Then I got them each a box of these Trolley Sour Bright Trees. They're addicted to sour candies and I really don't like them to eat a lot of candy, especially around this time of year because uh, illnesses are so bad right now and sugar lowers your immune system. But, you know, it's tradition. So they're gonna get some Sour Bright Trees. And then I also picked up these boxes of Cracker Jacks, came in a pack of three. Love Cracker Jacks. They like the surprise inside it's like the um, original surprise pack that you know kids love getting those little mini brands and those little balls with toys in them this is the original full of Cracker Jacks and then I got a three pack of Pop Rocks I got watermelon strawberry and pineapple those should be good um, they love Pop Rocks so I picked up those and then this is not gonna go in their box but I thought it'd be really cute for the hot chocolate. It's these sweet Christmas marshmallows. It's got snowmen, Christmas trees, and candy canes, and they're huge. So they will definitely enjoy these marshmallows. Again, Dollar Tree. And then y'all, I am that mama. I got my dog a December box. And I got it at Dollar General on Black Friday. It too was $5. It doesn't match the boys perfectly, but it kind of goes along with it because it's got that uh, checkered pattern but it's it's really pretty on the top it says mistletoe farm what happens under the mistletoe stays under the mistletoe it's really cute and the back says Merry Christmas anyway I'm super excited he also got Christmas jammies to match us I'm so excited 
Ah, such a dork. Anyway, so I got him Christmas jammies, and then um, he's got some little doggy treats to go in there as well. And then my husband doesn't have a box, but I bought him his favorite candy bar. Um, I bought him some Mr. Good bars, so that'll be a surprise for him. Anyway, so I'm gonna put these together and show you guys what they look like. And let me know in the comments below, do you do a Christmas Eve box or a December box? And if you do, what kind of stuff do you put in them? Um, I used to buy like a special movie to put in or a game or some kind of toy. But like I said, it was way more minimal this year. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I think it, I think they'll still enjoy them and they're going to be so excited when they open them. So I'm gonna put these together and then I'll let you guys see how they turn out. All right, so here's the promised close-up of the jammies. They are the Jammies for Your Family's brand by Cuddle Duds. And they just have a cute little penguin and snowman on the front. They say up to snow good on the pants. Just super, super adorable. And oh my gosh, it's so soft. And then this is my little doggy's box. He's got his dog treats and his jammies. And the brown paper that you see, um, I just found some packaging paper I got from a Hobby Lobby box. And I just tore it up and put it in each of the boxes. And I think it turned out kind of rustic and cute. So I love it. So here's to hoping the kids do too. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you got some inspiration to put together a box for your kids or your loved ones. Um, budget friendly. And I'll see you in the next one. Be grateful. Give grace. God bless.